K104, hip hop and R&B. Dee Dee in the morning with Lady Jade and Michael Sean. And I got to tell y'all something right now. If you have a child mm -hmm. that can play some really good volleyball, really you need good. to talk right now because really Coach good. P is here, <laughs> a.k.a. Action Jackson. Yay! Yo, Coach P has got a mean handshake. <laughs> he gripped me up like I was trying to date his daughter. I said, damn. Man. Hello, sir. That's that, that's okay. that working out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that ball set spot. That's the way we like it. Oh. So, <laughs> so Coach P, yes. a.k.a. Action Jackson, who yes. used to do radio. Yes, Back he here. Yeah. I'm home again. Yeah. Wow. I am home again. I, I tell you, it it just brings something back to me just walking into the building and really? seeing all these faces. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay, so time. wait, Action Jackson, you gave all of this up. I'm sorry, Coach Pete. Yeah. You gave all of this up. <laughs> yeah. And you went back to school and everything else, right? Yeah, yeah, I went back to school and then uh, I started into the coaching thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, ever since I started coaching, I felt like that was my next calling as far as radio is concerned. Because, you know, when you, when you get into something, it, I was taught early in life if you could do something and you could feel like you could do it without getting, getting paid, paid for yep, it yep. Mm -hmm. that's what you want to do mm -hmm. and as soon, wow. as, as soon as I stepped on the coaching floor and coached my first game I was like you know, this is something I could do for free all day, That's every amazing. day. Uh -huh. And I enjoy working with the girls. And I have two daughters that play uh, club volleyball. Mm -hmm. And wow. my relationship with them has gotten so much better because not only can we talk about my uh, daddy and daughter things, mm -hmm. it's right. volleyball conversation. So <laughs> you, you bring in someone too, which let's let's talk about that. Block Sport Volleyball Club. Yes. yes. And Tanya Price is here. She's the yes. owner. Hi, Tanya. Yes, this woman right here. I am indeed <laughs> the owner and entrepreneur. Okay. And, yes, ma'am. All right. Um, so actually, does your daughters also play with this club or no, they they're going through evaluation season right now. This is why we're here. Because okay. evaluations are going on right now for all the girls in the Metroplex. Does that mean like tryouts? Season? Yeah, tryouts. Yes. Okay. Just post trials where coaches get a chance to look at them and look at the players and, and look at what's going on. And it's, it's a chance for them to look at other clubs and different clubs and, and try out for different clubs. So this is a really exciting time for all the young ladies in the Metroplex volleyball players all out there. If you are out there, please come to our evaluations. Cause yes, indeed. It, yeah. Every Sunday, mm -hmm. this Sunday, 2 to 4. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're out there. We um, evaluate the girls starting at age 11. Mm. Wow. All mm. the way to 18. Oh, wow. We get them off to college with a volleyball scholarship. That's what I've heard. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, it, they have we have a coach there, Coach Ty. Coach Ty, he's phenomenal. He, uh, one of the best coaches I've ever had a chance to meet. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got like girls going to D one schools, wow. Yes, wow. Indeed. leaving there playing volleyball. Wow. Yes, wow. Yeah. Let, me, let me let everybody know who we're talking to. We're talking about volleyball recruitment that's going down with Block Sport Volleyball Club. We have the owner in here, Tanya Price, and also Coach P is here. You know what's yeah. interesting is that a lot of girls probably don't even realize, even parents, that they could get scholarships for their children Absolutely. if they're playing volleyball. Oh, yeah, it's good. And it's like it's one of those doors and avenues to college, to an mm -hmm. education exactly. that are so important. Because uh, let's keep it real here for a second because I know I can. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of African Americans go buy these sports yeah. because they yeah. don't they don't think they think mm -hmm. like basketball, right. football, that's why yeah. and, and, and everything else. Basketball, football, spades. spades. I mean, <laughs> yeah. But they don't think about these other sports like volleyball, golf, and mm -hmm. these other Tennis. things that you yep. can yeah. get into to help your child get a, a decent education yep. through a scholarship yeah. by working this way. And it's so many opportunities out there, not only for the African American young women out there who love the sport, because there's a lot of them that play mm -hmm. but just kids in general there's other avenues to get through college and get through school and that's an that's important right. issue to get into school uh, with some kind of affordability right. beyond parents paying for it right so, so you yeah. said sunday is the evaluation yeah. Yeah, Two to four. where do they go they go to our facility that's located at 10401 Miller Road. Okay. We're at 635 in Miller Road. So just show up in their just volleyball show gear. Up, just, just show up. Ready to play. Don't show ready up. No jeans fun. and a cute blouse. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Okay. Show up in some tights, mm -hmm. some sneakers, show up and ready, and ready, show ready to go. Go to work. Okay, and you said yes, this is every Sunday? Yes, ma'am. Every Sunday. Every, 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 Sunday. Every, every Sunday the evaluation is going on. If you miss Sunday, we have an evaluation on Monday for the 13-year-old group mm -hmm. and up in 12. I will be coaching the 12s elite this year. Okay. That, that's going to be my that's own. That's That's my own personal his, team uh -huh. that I will be nurturing, taking care of from mm. day one wow. all the way to the wow. end of the season. Yes. You will be my girls. That's you will, so awesome. You will I love be playing that. for me. Now, yes. if you look, look at Didi right now. Yeah. Didi's got some height on her. Mm -hmm. She's got 
Stand up. Oh, she's a middle. Stand she's up. a middle. Okay. Let's do a value. So, mm-hmm. what position do you think she would play? Well, I would have Dee Dee either in the middle or outside hitter mm-hmm. because of her height. Yep. She, she's really tall, so right. she can hold down that middle. But on the outside, oh man, if she's got a swing, she could kill. So, the, ball. the outside is called yes. the what? Outside. Outside. Let's go to outside, outside hitter. Outside hitter. hitter. Outside hitter. Wow, so even in volleyball, somebody's hitting. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I actually did play volleyball. I played volleyball in middle school, right? Did yeah. you? I did. I played volleyball only for about two weeks because I just wanted my picture in the... Oh, oh. No. Oh, She's that person. No, I just wanted yeah, my yeah, picture all over the yearbook. So I, I did volleyball, basketball, cheerleader. I did everything. I just wanted my you picture You played the flute for a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, yeah, so but listen. I would have you there. All right. Well, th- see, it, look, ladies, anybody, fellas, everybody, listening if you got a daughter between the age of 11 and 18 they even got some height on them maybe they're a little awkward right now yeah <laughs> you go Look, through that i will stuff. work with that they go through that awkward I, I, stage. I work with awkward kids all the time i love it okay <laughs> i work with awkward kids. <laughs> you guys <laughs> want to be a part of this <laughs> block sport volleyball club and again looking for our players ages 11 to 18 make sure you're there on sunday y'all give it up for coach p and the owner tanya Price. thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.